Auctioner Medical Center hosted an event with Melanie Bloom, National Patient Spokesperson for the Coalition to Prevent DVT. To bring awareness and educate the public, as well as auctioner patients and staff, about a serious condition called deep vein thrombosis. We came under a brief Iraqi artillery or border strike. Rocket, rocket, rocket. We're under attack right now. NBC Weekend anchor David Bloom was assigned to cover the war in Iraq an assignment he and his wife Melanie knew could be dangerous. But Melanie says no one predicted what would happen next. They first spent about a half an hour hitting two Iraqi observation posts. Well, my husband David Bloom was covering the war for NBC News. He was embedded with the 3rd Infantry Division. And this was back when the, new, when the war kicked off in April of 03. And I received that dreaded middle of the night phone call. And of course we had braced ourselves for the dangers of war. And I was shocked to learn not only had he passed away, but he died from deep vein thrombosis, which I had never heard of. Didn't even know what it was. Melanie says she originally thought DVT was a rare medical condition. Statistics indicate that each year, two million people develop a DVT. Out of those two million, 300,000 people die from the medical disorder. Found out that DVT takes more lives in our nation each year than AIDS and breast cancer combined. More people die from DVT each year than from stroke. That's pretty significant. Unfortunately, DVT is called the silent killer because over 50% of its victims have no prior warning signs. Melanie says her husband ironically did have warning signs. She says they just didn't realize it until it was too late. What I remember is David calling home two nights before he passed away and he mentioned his legs were cramping up and he was sleeping outside on top of the fender of the tank to stretch his legs. Well, it seemed so innocuous. I mean, they all had aches. They were covering a war, you know, they all had aches and pains. And, but he died two days after mentioning leg pain. So again, I learned after the fact that that was a warning sign. Taking what she's learned about DVT, Melanie says she's decided to use her tragedy to try and help others. Visiting hospitals nationwide, including Auctioner Medical Center, to spread the word about DVT. Auctioner's Vice President of Medical Affairs, Dr. Stephen Deidelswig, helps stress the risk factors of DVT. You need to know that you're either age over 40, you're obese, you've been on some medications like estrogens, you're admitted to a hospital, you have chronic respiratory or cardiac disease or malignant cancer, or undergoing a surgical procedure. Those are the major times that people will be at risk. Dr. Deidelswig says the symptoms or signs for DVT are redness and swelling of the lower extremities. If the blood clot moves into the upper extremities, it can cause a pulmonary embolism. Signs for a PE could be shortness of breath, coughing up blood, or chest pain. There are ways to detect both conditions. So objective testing for the lower extremities means an ultrasound. You look, even if you have symptoms on one side, you do bilateral venous ultrasounds. If you have symptoms that relates to your breathing problems, then most typically you'll see a CAT scan order. Dr. Deidelswig says another area to watch for clotting is in the arms. We're seeing an epidemic of clots also developing in the upper extremities. And we're seeing that because these days a lot of folks in, in um, our hospitals are getting these pick lines, what they call them. They're central lines that go into the upper extremity. And any foreign body, your veins don't like so they react by forming clots. Melanie says her message is to be proactive in your own health care, and she says with the help from hospitals like Auctioner Medical Center, she's able to get the important message out to the public. DVT is the number one cause of preventable hospital death in our nation, so it's very important that hospitals know about it, think about it, and prioritize it. So coming to Auctioner Medical Center was a natural fit. Uh, you know, to, to do an awareness event here. If you would like more information on deep vein thrombosis, go to preventdvt.org or auctioner.org backslash cardiology.